Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to the McLaren. Oh my god, yes. So we're driving the McLaren. Ooh, F1 GTR, I believe it is. What? I think this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one that, that is my personal like, oh my god, I can't wait to drive. The Ferrari, don't get me wrong, that's absolute monster in itself. But I've always had a, I've always had a bit more love for the for the P1. And now I've got this version. Which just makes me go, oh, I want to drive like a mental. Oh, wait, is that still Active Aero? Oh, my God. That's a massive Active Aero GT wing. That is absolutely insane. So, this car over the Ferrari is a little bit slower, but it does have DRS and curves. So, we're going to put, I don't know what the buttons are. We're going to figure that <laughs> We're going to figure it out as we go along. That's a wall. Be careful, very careful, very careful. We're good. And then speed out. So, where is what? There's the DRS. So that's going to give us more speed and straight line. Oh, you can see the wing definitely does when you press the brake and it stops. That is very, very useful. So I can just go, power mount! And then slow down, because corner. corner. We need the grip back. I want to see what it corners like with the DRS, but then again, they, they've patched it so when you brake, it turns it off. So I can't really test that, can I? I've scratched it! Now, we'll do this bit without the DRS. We're going to basically tell by the speedometer and the acceleration. So once we come out of this bit... DRS. It definitely accelerates a lot quicker as it picks up speed it gains even more. So that is very useful. You can tell it makes a difference. Now for the star of the show, which is the curse. We're gonna see how this thing makes it fly, and I cannot wait to try it. So let's load it up. Now if I can just remember the button. That isn't the button. Cancel. <laughs> Once we get around this corner, here we go, here we go. Go! Power mode! Oh, yes! This is it, my friends. We go on speed day. And then out of this corner and go again. Come on. Come on, take my ghost. Yes! Take him. Bitch, you got the smack now. Oh. And then flap my win. We're going to try and get a good lap now. See what we can do if we combine all of these together to get, get off road. Do it, he says. Lap time. Come on, come on, slow down for the corner. Massively. Come on! And then out of the corner, DRS curves even! <laughs> Read the wrong thing! Final section, come on! Come on! Come on! There we go, how do we do? We cut a decent amount off our time, but there you go! That is the McLaren P1 GTR and a single race. And now what we're going to do is go off-road and get corner penalties. That was not a corner penalty, I don't know. But... We're gonna now- Don't- Don't- I'm stopped for a re- We're now going to race this against some AI. Now, last race, we got absolutely smashed. So, uh, I'm gonna, this time, be on professional. So, it's a little bit easier. And now I will eat them alive! Move, you peasant! I have Ferraris to eat! Yes! Oh, shit, I had to break there to bring my wing back down a little bit. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, God! Back on course, and this Ferrari is still very far ahead. Now, that just tells you, not that this car isn't as good, it's the fact that I'm a shit driver. <laughs> like, no matter what I drive, you will drive it. That was not a car to penalty! Fuck your car to penalty! Come on! <laughs> He's just gone. I, d I legit don't... Oh! 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 It's fine. Use the wall to our advantage. He's just long gone. I... This is why I always have the AI on semi-pro, because no matter what the fuck you're driving... When you get used to using everything that you should on this car, I believe this would end up being faster than the Ferrari FXXK. But because I'm a massive... No! Why my car just stalled for a second? Why are you not going faster? Don't get bitten by the peasant car. Please. Like, at least beat one of them. The Ferrari, I couldn't do that in the Ferrari. Let me beat you. You're on a lower difficulty. I'm freaking sliding here. Fucking Ken Block in the very expensive car. These, these cars are expensive anyway. Why do you have to define that? I don't know. I smell like it. Just grip. Grip. No! No, you do not. Come Come back to me. What do you think you are doing? Come on, please. 
just close the gap a little bit. I don't believe you're going to get it past that Ferrari now. But close that gap. Close that gap. Come on. I can feel the speed. And is that a corner? That's a corner. Oh, oh, it's fine. So yes, even if you have these brand new DLC cars, you still need to learn how to do very well in the races with them. Um, this game is all about practicing and getting the right corners and that sort of thing. That's not my driving style. I'm very aggressive with my driving style, as you probably tell, tell already. But I think these cars, once you master them, because they're made for the track, they, they already are a billion times easier to drive because they've got more grip and that sort of thing. But if someone is in one of the cars that isn't DLC, there's still a chance that they can win, if that makes sense, because... If they drive better than you, than me, then they're still going to beat you. So don't worry, it's balanced, it's all go going very well. They're, even though they're in the class with the normal counterparts, it's a bit weird, but it makes sense because if you shit, you shit. It's how Drive Club works. But uh, let me know what you think of the DLC cars down below in the comments section. Subscribe if you are new and be sure to please help me by giving this a like if you want to see more Drive Club on the channel. But until next time, guys... I'll see you soon. Peace.